Welcome to my first vegetable garden. Today I'm going to show you how to collect dill seeds. If you save seeds at the end of summer, beginning of fall, you will save yourself a lot of money. You can get hundreds, if not thousands of seeds from your garden and you really don't have to spend the money. A lot of seeds last two, three, four years. So if you collect them one year, you can have a couple years worth of seeds. This is a dill plant. It's an herb and it's in a couple different stages here. You can see the flowers, they, ye they uh, flower yellow. You don't pick seeds while the plant is still flowering, as in you wouldn't cut this cluster off because the seeds aren't mature. With time, the seed heads will brown out and you can see how these stems are brown. Why this plant, is, there's actually two plants in here, it's still producing flowers. These will produce seeds in about two weeks, but you want to collect with dill the uh, dried brown flowers and you can see hanging on the tips, those are actually the dill seeds. And there is a, you want to keep an eye on them because they will fall to the ground. This area is going to reseed with dill next year, but I also want to collect some seeds. And let me find an example. Here's a plant that opened up more, that opened up earlier, and you can see nothing is left on the tips of these tiny stems. The dill seeds have all fallen to the ground. To collect the seeds, you want to collect them on a, a dry day. You don't want to put uh, seeds into a bag when they're wet. You don't want to grow mold or anything like that. So if it's rained, wait 24 hours or 48 hours and just cut the seed head off that has the seeds and you can see all the dill seeds on here. The leak video that I made, you actually had to crush the flower clusters to get to the black seeds. This you don't have to crush. The dill seeds are just hanging on the tips. So you're going to just put that into a bag. Whoa. Put it into a bag, a little more gently than that, and clip off all the seed heads that, or yeah, all the flower heads that still have seeds on them. This one still has a couple. And then you just take this inside. If it's if their plants are a little bit damp, you know, let them sit 24 hours till they dry out, and then you just collect them by breaking down the flower clusters on the plate. And I'll show you how to do that. Dill seeds are pretty to harvest because the seed itself actually hangs on the uh, dried out stem of the plant. Sometimes you have to uh, crush flowers to get to the seeds. You have to do that with leeks and onions and chives. But all these little black specks that you see all in here, that's the dill seed. You see uh, some little stems and you could clean them out, but I just tend to leave them. Just gently roll them, break the stems off, and you free up all the seeds. Same thing on here, you gently pull them off and just let them fall into the plate. And this is only three flower heads, so I just wanna show you how much you get from one plant. Well, actually from just three flower heads. This is not everything that's coming off of that plant. But there are plenty of dill seeds. Take out the big branches. These are totally dry. You only want to store them when they're dry. It's good practice that even though I know that they're dry, is let them sit five to seven days in the house. You can just keep them on a the plate. There's a small spider, which I'm going to crush. I have no place to put it. Is to let them dry on the plate seven to five days. You just don't want any moisture in it. Once they're dry and you feel they're ready to be stored, you can store them in Ziploc bags, but I have pill bottles that I purchased a bunch in bulk. They're really inexpensive. And you would just fill that up. Again, take out any big stems, but the small ones are fine. And put a lid on it, store it in a cool place for the summer or for the winter and you'll have plenty of dill seeds for next year. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my other videos. Thanks.